please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Today is Friday, March 7th. I'm Jazzy J with your morning news. Celebrating their birthday over the weekend include Kendall Page, Logan Goulash, Julie Romani, Lydia Hammock, and Elena Elliott. Today is a club day. Sixth grade chorus and eighth grade band will meet in the music wing during last period today. Attention seniors, on Tuesday, March 11th, we will be taking a group senior photo in the main gym. Please wear your class of 2014 baseball t-shirt that you received earlier in the year. The photo will be taken first period immediately following the announcements. If you have any questions, please see a member of the yearbook staff or Ms. Phillips in room 112. After School Art Club is back. Club sessions are on Wednesdays from 2.30 to 4.30. During this time, you can work on your, on your ATT class assignments or start artwork of your own. After School Art Club is for high school students only. You do not have to be signed up for an art class to attend. Permission forms are located outside of the high school art room. Forms must be turned in to Ms. Brodish before you attend the first club session. The first session will be held Wednesday, March 12th. Congratulations to the forensics team for an outstanding job at regionals on March 4th and 5th. Brandy Levernight is the regional champion in commentary and will advance to nationals in Chicago. Marissa Adamchak, third place pros, also advances to nationals. Tabitha Weaver was fifth place in dramatic interpretation. Trevor Bouchon, Molly Verostek, and Kendall Page were all semifinalists in their categories. Good luck to those who move on and congratulations on a great session to the whole team. Attention History Club and World Languages Club members, if you have not turned in your room assignment for the New York City field trip, you must see either Mrs. Blackburn or Mrs. Korber by Friday morning. If you do not meet with either of them, Mrs. Blackburn and Mrs. Korber will assign a room for you. Good luck to all the Hoops for Heart contestants today. Today for lunch we are having Mrs. T's pierogies, shrimp poppers, golden corn, coleslaw, mixed fruit, and apple crisp. Monday for breakfast, we are having pancakes with syrup, assorted cereal, milk, and fruit juice. Thanks and have a great day. Where in the world, where in the world is my apple Show me a sign, give me a clue. Drop me a hint and tell me something new. Today's question on everybody's lips is Where in the world, where in the world is my apple I'm not giving you any hints. Where am I? I'm in the hallway. This day in history by Nadine Carr. In 1774, a second Boston Tea Party took place on the ship Fortune. This helped lead to the closing of the Boston port. In 1876, Alexander Graham Bell patents his invention, the telephone. And in 1936, Hitler breaks the Treaty of Versailles made because of World War I by sending troops to Rhineland. Hi, I'm Dan and Devin with your morning career announcement. Have you ever considered becoming a pilot? Pilots handle multi-engine aircraft to transport passengers and cargo. Maybe one day you'd like to fly a cargo plane for Federal Express or the United Parcel Service. Or maybe you would like to fly passengers to their vacation destinations. Airline pilots earn an average wage of $117,000 a year. This job requires a bachelor's degree and lots of flight practice time. Math and science skills are very strongly needed as well as the ability to lead people.
Yawning is your body's way of shouting. Why? You need a 